Okay, so if we take a look at probably one of the most important stages, which is to plan the layout of what you're going to do. Now, it's not only a good idea just to do a little bit of a sketch if you can. It doesn't have to be quite as sort of fancy as an exploded diagram, not that mine's anything particularly good. Um, but one of the things I'd say it, it benefits from is that you think through the process of how things are going to assemble. So you start wondering about how various components are going to fit together. And obviously one of the key ones is whether the base is going to fit inside the top like that, or it could be like that, or any other method you want to try and do. So the other side of things is to make sure that your components fit inside. Now, this is actually a free volt motor and doesn't need both of these packs, but quite often people, I'd imagine, would use a, a servo, and those are 6 volts, so let's go as large as possible. So the important thing to remember if we just grab a little bit of scrap is that you don't just want to build a box uh, around these. You need to give a bit of space for the thickness of the material that you're working in. And then maybe a little bit more even still, just to make sure it isn't too tight a fit. So I've sort of spaced that out a little bit. And if I quickly draw around them, then it also gives me a bit of an indication of things like this is sticking out further, the cable connection. So it's quite important to have that sort of detail now. And I can give a bit of excess to make sure that I'm not in a sort of cramped space later on. So I might put a B for battery there. And then I think as well I'd want to make it so that I can use these little screw fixtures. And so I would, again, give enough space that they would fit within the walls. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then I'd probably want some at the front. But how long the thing's going to be is probably going to be determined by the top level, which is involving the soldering reel and the servo. So if I position those, whether I want it hanging out of the back or within the frame, I can decide that. And I can maybe have a look at how I think the solder is going to feed through and make sure that it's got enough space and how much I think I'm going to mount the cable onto the front. So all of these things I'm trying to sort of think through on paper. Admittedly, it's just a, a plan view. It's nothing particularly detailed. But again, this is kind of the benefit of sketch modeling, is just getting your ideas and the important things down first. So again, that's my servo. And that's the reel. And so that would mean that, giving a bit of space, I probably need that sort of dimension. And a little bit of space for those to fit in. And again, as long as I've got enough space for maybe a switch, that will be useful as well. So now that I've got that, I can kind of look at this quite confidently and think, well, that's about 70. And we're probably looking at something like 100 millimeters. So the benefit of that is I was able to rough things out really quickly without too much risk, but I'm pretty confident that they're going to fit in. So when you come to lay out on a fresh piece of plastic, you can be sure that things are going to fit inside. So if this is our base section, that looks like it's going to be quite a nice fit with the screw bosses as well. So all those sorts of things have been considered. So again, I can't stress it enough. You can either use this, which will probably be scanned and uploaded, or you can have a go at thinking it through yourself, whatever sort of challenge you want.